coding made easy. What's up, everybody, and welcome to your next C++ SML 2.0 tutorial. And this tutorial, we're going to be learning about the hard way on how to handle time map collision. Now, the code has um, contains a lot, so I've already done the code because to type around and explain it would span too many tutorials I don't want to make this tutorial series too long and unbearable so I've made the I made a shortened I made the code already sorry so I could um, shorten the length of the video and hopefully I don't have to split it up into multiple videos so before what we did is that um, we made it so that what it did it, it was it would check the four corners of the the tile and and that works right um but i want to let you know something that only works because of our certain size of our shape so for example if you have a boss that's huge or something and it's like that big although it's touching these tiles you are it's not detecting it because we're only checking for the four corners so a good strategy would be i guess would be to split up the um the huge tile or the huge player or whatever into 32 by 32 parts right so you would split it up into uh to different parts like so so like something like that oh wow this is horrible but you do something like that split up into different parts and then check each part to see if it's touching uh touching something but that is not the aim of this tutorial. So the aim of this tutorial is like this. Okay, so what we have is a tile map and we have a collision map. And the collision map will let us know based on um, uh, based on where we put the tiles if we have collided. Now, what if we have tiles that we want to be able to move, right? What if we want movable tiles or, or say, or, or like just say that we want to do some action or something right now this only works for static based tiles but we want to be able to do it with moving tiles as well right and um so what we're going to do is we're going to create a tile class and that is going to handle all the tiles so this is a tile class right here it's relatively small it takes uh we make a sprite and then the constructor takes a sprite and we paste in the sprite right there. In the update, we get the left, the bottom left and right in the top of it. And we do the collision. And if there is a collision, then we move it based on the player's velocity. And I just have to show you the change that I made to the player class. So in the update, I took the controls that we used to move it. And I've added in velocity like I did in the gravity tutorial. So if they press right, the velocity is 1. If they press left, it's negative 1. Else, it's 0. If they press up, it's negative 1. Uh, if they press down, velocity Y is 1. And else, it's set to 0. And we move it based on our velocity. And the velocity is a vector 2F variable type. So if we go back to our tiles... And then we're going to move it based um, on the player's velocity. So wherever, if if we touch a tile, basically when the player touches the tile, it's going to move it. So um, just to show you what's going to happen at the end result. So basically, when we run this, when a player touches a tile or multiple tiles or whatever, it will move that tile like so. It will push that tile in whatever direction we're moving. Okay, so that is what's going to be happening. Okay, so, um, so yeah, so that's just going to move it if there is a collision. So if we go to our main, what we do is we load our map and we make a vector of our tile class. Now we loop through every single element and we say that if um, x is not equal to negative 1 and y is not equal to negative 1 then we create a brand new sprite and we make it equal to our tile sheet right um, that we have and then we set our texture rect so we crop out the specific tile or this yeah the specific tile we set the position then we make an instance of our tile class and we pass in the sprite in there and then we store it in movable tiles and we do that for every single tile so we're only creating tiles 
for those that are actually visible. There's no point in creating a tile if, if it's set to negative one because we're not going to be doing anything with that tile. Okay, so that's um, essentially how it's going to work. Now, in the last tutorial, I said that we only want to check uh, only the tutorial. Uh, sorry, we only want to check the tiles which is in the player's vicinity. But in this video, we're checking all the tiles. Um, the reason being is that to to check if it's in the vicinity, it's not it's not the same as with the collision map where they're in static positions. They can be in any position at any time. So what you could do is in the tile immovable tiles update, you can do a, a check with the player to see if the player is within the vicinity, and then you could check for tile collision and stuff like that to save to optimize the code, right? But I haven't done this, but that's up to you guys to optimize it to your liking. But we update it, which checks for the collision and everything, and then we clear the screen and then we draw them. I made a draw method within the tile class, which will just draw the tile, and then we draw it. And then once we run the program, we get something like this. So we can move it anywhere we, we would like, and when we move the tile, when we touch it, it moves. So it's pretty cool. And you can add this feature in your games or do whatever you want to do with it. It's up to you, but yeah. So that is it for this tutorial. Um, and yeah, so bye for now. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at Coding Made Easy. And don't forget to uh, join my website and, and join my circle on Google+. So that's it. And, and bye for now.